Refugees run over 2,000 small businesses in the Kakuma camp in northwest Kenya, supplying everything from Wi-Fi to canned food. Many pay some taxes, despite receiving no services from the country, and most incomes in the camp depend on aid. I came with nothing, so I started my business here in the refugee camp from scratch. I started looking for employment, working for people, and here I am. The World Bank Group's International Financial Corporation says Kakuma is a vibrant, informal economy and is urging private investors to take advantage of the opportunities. Yes, the private sector is there to, to make some money. The private sector in return brings job opportunities for host population and refugees, um, better delivery of services, more sustainable one in our opinion. That's the IFC experience so far over 60 years, but also brings local economic growth to, uh, to an area. The 26-year-old refugee camp and the neighboring town of Kakuma boast a combined $56 million economy, with a total population equal to Kenya's 10th largest city. Benjamin Akalekwam owns the Kakuma Payana bookstore. About 70% of our business is from the refugee camp, especially the NGOs around here. The camp's population more than doubled in the past five years. The refugees hail from 18 countries, with the new arrivals primarily from South Sudan. There has been some questions that have been posed, whether the refugees are uh, simply dependent on the humanitarian aid. The IFC report clearly showed that the economy is well beyond what the humanitarian agencies provide here. Somali refugee Hassan Mohamed Adan was luckier than most. He was able to borrow money from relatives to start a business. But restrictions prevent refugees from legally owning or renting property, moving freely and expanding or partnering with a Kenyan. So we need that documentation. We need also support like, uh, because you need money. Okay. While Kenya's restrictions on refugees are unlikely to change, the UNHCR is moving from handouts of food and vouchers to cash allowances, something the IFC says should help attract private investors. Daniel Sheriff, VOA News, Kakuma, Kenya.